when the, the cinema was out of fashion, it was actually prone to be demolished and closed down. This, this cinema went into receivership in 1996. It went into receivership. A chap called John Weber, who was a manager, who became the manager, and a few of us, um, we took out a loan and bought the cinema for the community. That's how this became a community cinema. Um, and then when the loan was uh, we paid back the loan by the way the loan was from Barclays Bank and Barclays Bank gave us an interest free loan provided we showed their advert on our screen for three years. <laughs> some wonderful stories of you know the lights going out and people wanting to stay and watch the end of the film but actually ev eventually having to go out into the street and realize that there'd been you know, really really serious damage done and uh, you can still see the shrapnel marks on the outside of the building other stories of you know kids coming onto the balcony dropping ice cream down the backs of the people sitting down below and you know, courting couples and you know, first kiss and you know, engagements and weddings and all that kind of thing. Some wonderful, wonderful memories. I mean, in fact, I know they're all volunteers and they work very hard and, yeah, it's, it's, they, they care what they do. Well, my first impressions from when I visited the cinema was this is rather quaint and old-fashioned. I mean, the first time I went there, it was uh, it was a novelty that I knew for a fact if you phoned up, they would actually start the film late for you. The Garden nominations, the, um, the directors of Ardman um, have been very great friends and come on a regular basis. We had the Curse of the Were Rabbit here, which was a big a big gala event. Um, we even had the little the little car came into the into the foyer in, into the auditorium downstairs and uh, and uh, we had a dreadful job getting it out again but you know that was that was terrific. Well, I like the premiere of Harry Potter. It was the second film 
in the country to be shown after Leicester Square. And it was nice actually dressing up. It just, about, it just felt special to see a film so soon before the rest of the country. Who's been who's been very kind, and we've been able to use his his photograph, and he's helped us to raise raise money in that way. Um, Terry Gilliam came and did a Q and A session a few years ago. adds to the town that we have our own cinema, we have our own theatre, which is like a town the size of Cleveland should have. So we're hoping that when we celebrate our centenary next year, as the Curzon is, is, is 100 years old um, in April next year, uh, that we will see more of our patrons actually come to visit us and do special events for us and we're, we're keeping them in touch with the plans for the centenary and it's going to be really exciting. <laughs>